it's Mike with you, Tastic. I'm here again at RailsConf 2014, and I'm standing here with Justin Collins. Uh, Justin is going to be a talk, doing a talk tomorrow called Tales from the Crypt, but he's also the creator of the Breakman Gem. Uh, well, thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. Uh, first, you know, can we start with the Breakman Gem because I'm a fan, but I, I'd like you to describe what sure. it is. So the Breakman Gem is a static analysis security tool uh, for Ruby on Rails applications. So it looks at your source code, finds potential vulnerabilities, and lets you know about them. But well, wait, it's a dynamic language. How can we do any kind of static analysis? Oh boy. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I've talked about that quite a bit. Um, it, you know, the, the important thing for a security tool is just uh, finding stuff. And yes, secu static analysis security purists may be upset uh, because you you can't prove certain things or you can't analyze certain things. But uh, for a security tool, it, it's really not that important that it be perfect, but just that we're able to identify potential problems uh, inside the source code. Well, it's kind of like if you just because you can't maybe identify everything it doesn't mean you shouldn't identify anything. exactly exactly so so what kind of inspired you to create uh, break um uh, it's kind of a long story but uh basically i got an internship on a security team at att interactive mm -hmm. and i had proposed during my interview something like this knowing nothing about security or rails or i mean you know, i knew what it was but no experience with rails uh, I proposed, hey, well, what if you just had a tool that found this stuff for you? Right. And then they said, hey, why don't you work on a tool that would find this stuff for us? <laughs> um, and they were nice enough to allow me to open source it at the end of my internship. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I worked for them later uh, as well on it. So, so security is, is something that you have a passion about? Um, I mean, I, I fell into it by accident. You know, like I, I just happened to get an internship on a security team. No real uh, security experience before that. But um, I, you know, I've been able to create a tool that's been really helpful for people. And through that tool, I've gotten into the security community. And you know, I, I think as a developer, you, there's always an advantage to being a developer and having security knowledge, because a lot of times the security community is not perceived as very, very nice people or very smart people sometimes yeah. uh, by developers who are like, I'm just trying to get stuff done. They're always blaming me for doing things wrong, but what do they know? They don't even write code. Right, right. So it's always good to be able to bridge that gap and approach people, you know, in a nice way, be a nice yeah. person. Right. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I've liked being able to run the, the Brickman analysis on my gem and, and a few other, you know, on my projects, a few other uh, uh, gems, you know, along those lines of the Rails uh, best practices sure. and, and, um, and then Bullet, you know, anything that can help give a little bit of insight into what's going on in the code. It's always sure. it's great. But I was curious, you said you can't cover everything. Is there something maybe you could think of that you would like to be able to cover, but is a common problem, it's just kind of too hard to really pin down that developers on Rails projects should be thinking about? Um, wow, that's a really good question. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I mean, there are, there are things that are difficult to determine statically. Right. Um, there are some things that it would just take too much time to determine. Right. And I try to keep Breakman fast for most people. Um, I think one, like, one good example, for example, is that uh, you know you don't always know what gems are doing. The breakdown right. doesn't look at your dependencies. Okay. Um, helper methods, for example, they tend to use HTML safe a lot right. because maybe they're building out tags, and you tend to trust those helper methods because somebody wrote it and they probably yeah. knew what they were doing. And in your view, it looks like it's escaped, but actually the helper might be setting HTML safe and building out some tags. But they're also putting in user input. And now you have cross-site scripting, okay. and that's something that Breakman could possibly find, but uh, right now it can't. Right. So, so something to, to look at is look at your gems if they're doing dynamic. If you're if content you're, generation, yeah, any kind of content generation, any kind of oh, I'm using this helper to generate some HTML. You might want to look into that and see what exactly are they doing? Are they properly escaping the values, or are they just calling HTML safe and and just jamming it in there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it, it brings me over to your talk. The uh, it's it's a group talk, but it's tales from the crypt. Yes. And I, now 
I'm presuming that's encryption. Uh, <laughs> that would be a good assumption. Yeah, well, but we're, we're actually not going to talk about encryption at oh, really? all. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, it's a very side note. Okay. Um, to be honest, I didn't notice the pun until after the talk was accepted. And okay. I think, oh, we should have done something uh, with this pun. Yeah, I have some. Probably because with, with OpenSSL, hard lead stuff, sure. you know, encryption is kind of a hot topic right now. It is a hot topic, but I think everyone's kind of aware. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I have very non technical people approach me and say, hey, what about Hartley? Like, yeah. Did that affect Twitter? You know, did, did should I do something? Right. And these are people who are no te not yeah. technical at all, and yet they've heard about it. So I don't think probably people at RailsConf don't need to hear about it even more. Right, right. Um, and that wasn't the, the purpose of our talk. The purpose of our talk is just um, we really, we're, we're going to present sort of your, your worst nightmare one day in the life of a couple developers at a company, and it's just like one security problem after another. Okay. And just kind of trying to demonstrate, you know, the, and these things happen. I mean, people find these problems, uh, pe people's sites get hacked into, and so we're just, it's kind of just a teaching, and hopefully we can present some proactive steps to prevent these really bad days from happening. Well, I'm looking forward to your yeah, talk, yeah, yeah. and I really appreciate you oh. taking the time to speak with me now. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, man, my legs are killing me. Oh, uh, but, sure. uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that was... Uh, have some clear static analysis, uh, or at least information. Now, so the story I was going to tell you. Uh, all right, so I, I worked with, uh, not directly worked with Aaron, but we, we sat in proximity to each other. Uh, I would. At Groupon. Okay. Uh, gr the, the first group time. The, the first time, yes. And um, user groups with lots to say interviews and more no way sharing great ideas in the tech community fascinating conversations a plethora of information find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com